Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this channel ad-free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and today we're talking pens. These pens that I picked up over at the Target the other day. Uh, Uniball is a pen company that I am a big fan of. I've been using their 207s for a very long time. And these are 207 Plus Plus Gel Uni Super Ink Plus Nanofiber Ink Super Enhanced Smoothness, Drying Speed, Line Intensity, Assorted Three Count, Medium. Those are all the informations here. And on the back, it says Elevated Writing, Made in Japan, Dense Vibrant Ink Makes a Bold Statement, uh, Rich Clean Lines, Even on Glossy Paper, Seamless Grip, Distinct Metal Clip. Uh, etc. I got these for $4.49 for three pens, so a perfectly cromulent amount of uh, dollars for three pens. I did open these up because uh, I wanted to take a look at them, and then I said, you know what, let's do a video. So, let's pull these out. These do look different from the standard 207s. You're not going to mistake these one for the other. The 207 Plus has a nicer body, I think. I've always liked the, uh, the sort of dimpled 207 grip, but uh, this smooth one is actually very nice. It's got a good amount of grip, even though it doesn't have, uh, you know, doesn't have, you know, bumps on it. The clip, of course, is also uh, very similar. This one's got a sort of a matte thing going on. Oh, is this an imperfection? What was that? Huh, I don't know, a little something. A little something, I don't know. It looks like it's got kind of a, a smoosh. Do they all have that? Yeah, they all do. That's got to be a design feature then. I don't see it on this one, but uh, you can see there's like a little bump out right uh, right here. I don't know, weird. Must be some oddity about this particular clip. Uh, on these, you just have the Uniball logo to tell you what color it is. The rest of the barrel is a matte black. Uh, you've also got the 307s, and uh, I'm pretty sure that these are very closely related. I got, uh, when I was thinking, oh, nanofiber ink, I've heard of this. Uh, and that's what they bill the uh, Uniball Signo 307 as having. So I figured I would grab these. On these, you have uh, colored finials. I guess you'd call that a finial. It's kind of a finial. Colored differently, colored knocks, etc. But you have the rest of these are more or less like 207s. Uh, then you have this like kind of carbon fiber-esque thing going on in the barrel. None of that here, just a nice matte black. So let's uh, let's see how these stack up. And then I want to take a look at the, uh, the refills in these things. So I'll grab my handy dandy paper. This is my... Um, uh, uh, Kayakuto FOB Coop style notebook that I use for all my quick clicks. Throw that down here. All right. So this is the. Oh, I already took the. I already took the little plastic ball off this one. Let me take the rest. Take them off the other two as well. Like this. You just got to peel this little piece off. Okay. Now ready to go. Wait, did they drop the Sino Signo? Oh, they dropped the Signo stuff off of here. Is it on here anywhere? Yeah, this says Signo on the clip, and this just says Uniball. Oh, maybe they're dropping that whole Signo thing. That's interesting. Yeah. All right, so yeah, a very nice uh, dense gel line there. Uh, what do they call this? Fiber, uh, nanofiber ink. Interesting stuff. Uh, seems, seems good here. Very dense, very dark, no skips. Nothing of that nature. Did it bleed through anything? No, it didn't bleed through. There's a couple little spots of like show through in here, but no bleeding, so that's good. Let's go ahead and do the uh, the regular 207 next to it. Yep. I think comparing the two, the 207 Plus is definitely nicer. It does look like a marginally thicker line, although I might be embarrassed, uh, might be imagining that, but you do have in the 207 just a little bit of like almost railroading where you can see where the ball is contacting the paper but the gel isn't on the ball. You don't see that at all with any of these 207s. Of course, these are brand new and this one I've had for, I mean, a while. I've, I don't know, I've used up some of the ink in it anyway. But I have had a lot of these 207s over the years and so there's no telling how old it is. So maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe the ink is aged a little bit, I don't know. Let's try the 307 The 307 I thought was going to be a straight up replacement for the 207, but these are actually kind of too wet, and they do seem to want to try to bleed through things. Is the uh, is the real is like the problem with the 307? It's why I never bought you know a dozen of them or something. So Uniball. Let's do the red too. 
All right. So there's those 307s. Uh, the 207 Plus, I think, actually looks a little bit better than the 307. The other thing about the 307 is that it takes a while to dry. You can see these are actually still like shiny and wet. Uh, and I bet if I rub my finger over it, it's going to smear. Um, whereas the 207 and such looks like, yeah. Well, yeah, t lots of. So that's the thing about the 307. It smears. It goes down, stays wet. No bleeding on this. I've had it bleed in like weird ways before, which is very strange for um, for a gel ink. But yeah, you can see those uh, those smeared uh, not too long after. I mean, it's been a, it was several seconds after I finished writing, but the uh, the plus did not so much. That actually could have been uh, a little bit of a little bit of black from this one that's smudged. Let me see if I can get the rest of the writing to do it. No, that might have actually just been carryover from this one. So the 307s, uh, I think, were kind of imperfect. And uh, that's why I've never I, I I've never used one of these up, I don't think. Let me see if... Uh, yeah, no. I mean, I've used a fair amount of it. It's still a pen that I reach for. But it's very particular things where I'm like, I'm not going to smear them or whatever. Because the thing about the gel inks is you want them to dry quickly enough that you can you know, get going. Let's put the black uh, and red 207 pluses next to, let's put them in between. Oops, that's blue. So here's the thing, they need more, they need more color on this thing. All right. Yeah, interesting. So I, I think the 207 Plus actually looks better than either of these two. It's denser in terms of line than the 207. Uh, same kind of density, I think, in the 307, but definitely, definitely doesn't do the smearing thing. Maybe a little tiny amount. Maybe a tiny amount of smear there, but nothing at all like the 307 was. And the 207 Plus in the red is a very different red color. I actually like the 307 color better. It's more, I don't know, tomato-y or something. And the 307 Plus is a little bit more washed out. Does it, is it going to smear on me? No, no smearing. So it definitely dries faster. And one of the things that I was uh, curious about was, well, let's see what refills in here. And so I open them up. And the refills actually have the same numbers on them. But you can tell that they look different in the in the ink uh, refill there. So UMR 87 E's Japan 1501 and 2201. So these bits of number are different, uh, but uh, these the 87 E's are the same. And maybe that just denotes the nanofiber ink uh, in these in these pens or something. But um, same. And so I was thinking, oh no, are they all going to be the same? Are they going to write the same? And they don't. So. Um, my advice is go pick up some 207 pluses because these are actually really nice. I mean, use up your 207s or whatever. Don't be wasteful. Don't don't collect a zillion of them like me because you don't need to. You've got these videos for that. But uh, if you find these in your local store, and I picked these up, like I said, at Target for uh, 450 for the three pack, which is totally fine, I think, for these pens. They tend to last a while, even for you know for a gel pen, which usually they will run up more quickly than your uh, ball points and such. But pretty pretty nice. And I like the way they look. So check out the 207 plus. All right. See you in another video. Peace out.